long last, I am finally here to reveal the cover for The Ivies, which is my YA thriller coming out in 2021. And I can finally tell you my release date too, which is May 25th, 2021. So just in time for summer, honestly, it's kind of a beach read. And it'll be perfect timing for either people who have already gone through the hell of college admissions for the year or who are just getting started for the next year. Now, I will not hold you in suspense any longer. I have teased this cover enough time in videos, mostly because I saw the first comp and then final cover ages and ages and ages ago. And I'm gonna talk a teeny tiny bit more about the process of arriving at the cover after I've shown it to you. So let's just do the thing. So my cover for the Ivies. I hope now you see why I have been dying to show it to people, why I have been teasing this cover, why I have been talking about it for such a long time. This is, I mean, honestly, for thrillers, it's better than I could have imagined. It is the cover of my dreams. I really hoped when I signed with the big five that I would get a cover that announces itself, that shows up and says, hey, yo, this book. And I feel like that is this cover. What do I love about it? I love so much about it. First, when we were talking about cover ideas, which is something that I did with my publisher, I of course spitballed lots of different ideas, kind of academic, dark academia type stuff, my agent too. But the designer ended up doing something that I just hadn't thought of. What I love the hand-drawn crust with the broken pencils, the blood, that was actually a late stage edition. The ivies in kind of a messy scrawl. There is like tone to that scrawl. That is like, a bitch wrote that, she was pissed off, she broke her pencil, she shoved it through the paper. I just love all the feelings you get out of this. It definitely, I think, is true to the novel, evokes something of the novel. I love the lined paper. I love that it's crumpled. We're gonna talk about how that came to be. And I, I honestly couldn't be happier with this cover. I cannot wait to see it on shelves. And I think the full jacket will be equally as gorgeous. And if you hadn't already maybe guessed, so I am published by Random House, the same publisher that published this book. And we had the same cover designer. And as soon as I saw it, I realized I had told my editor, because now we can talk about process. You always start off, usually your editor says, well, what kind of covers do you like? What do you have in mind? And I did link her to covers that I really liked, including a ton from Random House, which just publishes so many amazing thrillers and they kill it with covers consistently. And two of the ones I mentioned, the cheerleaders, my editor brought this one up as well. And I said, I loved the Good Girl's Guide to Murder cover because I do. Oh, just look at the whole package, it's just gorgeous. And so yeah, they ended up using that designer because they work for the same publisher. So I feel like my book is like a cousin, a spiritual cousin to this book, which was one of my favorite reads of 2020. So if you want to know how long I have been in suspense, I saw my first cover comp in April, guys, April of 2020, the year that is 8 million years long and I thought the comp was like a home run. I saw the comp and I almost cried. I showed it to a couple trusted friends and I was just like, showed it to some bookseller and librarian friends especially and their reaction told me everything I needed to know. They were like thumbs up and then my editor casually is like, okay, we're gonna do a photo shoot. This isn't the real cover and I was like, that's not the real cover. Literally just a digital comp. And so my cover, the, just this whole thing, they did a photo shoot, so like they got paper and pencils and like they did this. I think it's so cool to have a photorealistic cover like this, photorealistic because it's literally a photo and then the designer did the rest. And I want to give full credit to the team who put together the cover. So the photographer was Christine Blackburn and the designer was Casey Moses. Always give credit to your artists slash photographers slash designers. They're really the unsung heroes at publishers, I feel, because I mean, think about what a piece of marketing a cover really is. And this really exceeds all of my wildest dreams for that reason. They took a brief and they nailed it. They came up with something I never could have come up with and they executed it beautifully. I, I, I love this cover. I hope you love this cover. I saw the final in early, early June. <laughs> uh, a couple things changed since then. They changed the color of the pencils. 
the little things publishers do. From comp to final, they added the blood. And then of course tweaked the font. So the fonts on the comp were basic fonts and then they did different fonts on this. And then we got a blurb and so a blurb is on the cover. I do have a tagline. I'm wondering if it's gonna go on the back jacket. I haven't seen my full jacket yet. I love my tagline that my publisher came up with. It's admissions are killer. So you'll see that on all of my materials. I've rebranded everything you will now see, including this very YouTube channel. And yeah, like this is my book. This is my cover. I am the happiest girl in the world right now. What an awful year, but at least I've had this cover to keep me warm and it'll keep me warm all through 2021. I cannot wait for this to drop. And now that you've seen the cover, I mean, all the things are happening. This means ARCs are out in the world. They should be up on NetGalley by now, but if they're not, they're going to be very, very soon. Yes, I'm gonna do ARC giveaways on this channel, not yet. I needed to give my publisher a little bit of time to get everything up and running, but it's going to happen. Librarians, booksellers, bloggers, booktubers, etc. If you are on the ARC list for Random House, you should be able to read the book now. It's wacky to me that it's going to be out in the universe. I'm both terrified and excited to see like real reviews start to roll out and see how people react. Early reader reactions have been really good, but early reader reactions are like your friends and people who work at your publisher and you would hope that they like your book. So this is it, it's, it's happening. I want to know down below in the comments, what do you think? Is this what you were expecting? Do you have questions about the Ivies? As we move toward the real release date, May 25th, 2021, I will start doing increased content on the channel. I might do an FAQ if you have enough questions, but I'll definitely do things I've done in the past uh, for my books, like character guides and like 10 things you can expect to find, like those sorts of things, because I'm so excited that I finally get to really promote this book. It doesn't feel real until like, you have the cover and pre-order links. You will find down below all the pre-order links. You can order from your bookseller of choice. Pre-orders are very, very helpful because they tell my publisher as well as the booksellers that people are interested in the title. And I probably will be doing a pre-order incentive. Don't quote me on that, but I, I probably will. Or maybe if I'm lucky, my publisher will do it, but like, put a pin in that, but I hope you pre-order whether there's an incentive or not. Thank you as always for following me on this journey. Y'all have been with me literally since I first had the brainwave for this book. That exists in a vlog from 2018. Like, like think bonkers and like, Oh, this is, this is, this is the thing. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post new videos two to three times a week. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and happy reading and writing.